Launch Crow reacting to that bike. It's on the bike already, perched on oh, like the middle part. Yeah. It's like oh. imagine like the figurehead of a ship. It's that right now. Man. Instantly haunted. <laughs> <laughs> Rick kind of like tries to climb up into the seat. The crow menaces him away with the knife. Okay, it's it's yours. It's yours. Never mind. Hey, hey, you, you just gotta ask permission. It's like it's like those rides at the mall where you have to feed it some money to start the ride. I put <laughs> I feed the crow some money and get on the bike. <laughs> Phoenica elbows uh, Octo Clacker and goes, You know, if we froze the haunch crew on there, he'd make a wonderful mast pe- What are those called? Figureheads! <laughs> <laughs> I pick up my espers. You're putting them back- Oh. I, I like to mention you just like, hold out one arm towards the ground, they all hop up it and disappear into your hair. That is exactly <laughs> what happens. Back to their nest to tend to the young. <laughs> <laughs> that's you so filthy funny. monster. <laughs> the the crowd around you reacts uh, mixedly. Uh, some of them apparently lost a fortune from either betting on the wrong person or some uh, black feathers are left behind. <laughs> <laughs> either way, most people lost money, except for one happy fella in the back who's like, Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that guy knows how to party. Yeah, he knows how to ourselves. He got the super effect of betting for all three of you specifically. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I guess that's try a strong that effect, time. yeah. Because either we win or we're dead and we don't care. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, that's dark, Samson, even for me. But it's if right. If you're dead, you can't ride a bicycle. <laughs> Everybody just... pile on! Yeah. Oh. Okay, uh, yes, sure. I, I pick up I pick up Haunch Crow and put it on my head and try to get on the bike. <laughs> okay, this is well, going well, to work. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Feeny uh Feeny flips the um the little speed thing on the handle so it's in third gear. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh wow. Maybe the is wheels bigger. Bike. That's genius. It is now one of us has to man each pedal, one person gets to actually sit on top, and then one person has to ride the pegs. Not bit uh, one, two, three, not bitch. She puts her finger on her nose and hops on one of the pedals. <laughs> I hop on, I've already gotten onto one of the pedals. Oh. Well, then. Well, I'll, I'll hop on the pegs. Okay, oh. sure. Thank you. That's uh, that's much appreciated. Samson, you really are the, you're you're the glue that keeps our team together, like a like a like a person made out of glue. Thank I you. I give everybody a big gluey hug. Yes. You can't escape. <laughs> oh, he's worryingly Phoenix strong. Gladly yeah. accepts the hug. She, like most of her, like. I was gonna say biomass. <laughs> Most of her presumed mass is actually just fluff, and she's actually yeah. super thin, and she like makes a squeaking noise like a dog toy. <laughs> Who knows if she can even feel it? <laughs> yeah. And uh, in the middle of your guys' celebration, as if uh, the heavens cheer for you themselves, you hear a thunderclap and uh, a bunch of rolling thunder, and. Uh, the crowd reacts uh, also somewhat confused because it's a bright and sunny, or it's a bright and dusky sunset, <laughs> actually. I forgot my own oh, setting. What an <laughs> ominous victory! Nice, Very it fits us. Uh, yes, yeah, sure. Nira, you might want to pick up that bicycle and jam it in your pocket if something bad's coming. Oh, right, right. Bikes are, they get hit by lightning. <laughs> That's how that works. It's true. I've seen it. <laughs> I fold up the bike and stuff it into my back Lightning pocket. Bikes. In the such a storied history, Samson. <laughs> I own a bike. <laughs> you own a bike? Wait, how did you own a bike? What? Well, I did. It got hit oh. by lightning. Oh, okay. Oh. Wow. So, like, are you on the end tail of your hero's journey? Like, did you have your, your moment of glory and then your fall from grace? Not and now all. you're climbing... Okay. A convenience <laughs> store. <laughs> in the sky. up the bike. Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, in the sky, uh, rips op uh, the sky rips open and it reveals a large purple mass just swirling hundreds of feet above you. Oh, oh that's probably on. bad. 
I think I hit gear four by accident where that happens. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't even a gear four. What kind of bike is this? It doesn't have a warp. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, fast travel. <laughs> I don't know what you guys yeah. are doing. Also, Fenica, it's happening again. <laughs> it's uh, just getting bigger. Maybe we should cheese it. Uh, well, luckily we have an escape route. Yeah, everyone hop on the bike and pedal. What? We're going to run, but that would leave this town in a great amount of danger. That's a mysterious <laughs> portal. You gotta it's go through it, right? It's not a town, it's technically just a collective. <laughs> <laughs> Descending from the sky are several small, uh, to your perspective, creatures that as they get closer uh, seem bigger and more menacing. The first uh -oh. of these creatures lands in front of you. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, shoot. What is that? Oh no, it's even more swole than Samson, and I never thought I'd oh say that. Oh my god, <laughs> it's ripped! I'm a professor and know oh, exactly a bunch what of that them. is! <laughs> Several of these creatures suddenly land. I should probably pick more menacing music. <laughs> uh, well, I'm still on the bicycle, so yeah. you're not allowed to. But, Fenica, what is that? Alright. Well, she opens her mouth and the GM describes these creatures. <laughs> <laughs> You see uh, three, uh, at least, uh, you can see several more buzzing down from the sky. Uh, large, uh, imposing, muscular, almost bug-like creatures. They hit the floor with a thud, and they look around uh, almost confused. And they, one of them approaches you, uh, clearly seeing the alpha male among you. And he flexes! All of his muscles at once, bulging out, expanding his size to one size bigger. Come on, Samson. Do that thing where... Can you do that thing where you make oh, your clothes God. explode off when you sh when you flex? I've got something even better. <laughs> oh, I turn okay. towards the giant monstrous thing, eye it up, give it a scowl, kind of intimidate it from down below, and I kick it in its stupid shin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll, roll that strength again. Get a one. One. one, one. <laughs> Please don't get a one. That's not a one. I'm gonna use probability control. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To turn it into a one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to mark, because you used probability control once, you get what's yes. uh, Murphy's Law point, so I'm just going to yep. put that there to remind me. Yeah. All right, uh, I, I go ahead. have two die. points now. No, 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 you, the first one's free. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. So, uh, go ahead and roll again. Oh. Woo! Oh. Oh, wow. Samson's <laughs> foot arcs in midair, <laughs> doing a right <laughs> angle turn. <laughs> and kicks it. <laughs> damaged, right? Do you want me to heal you? Oh, that'd be great, Feeny. Okay. I should uh, have, I have like 39 health right now. Okay, I'll, cool. I'll add a, um, I'll use one of my two heals. I can do this twice. That's pretty good, there you go. Oh uh, shoot, thanks. 20, 23 health. Nice. I feel like someone wrenched my destiny. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think about it too much. Your, your foot now, uh, you know, aligned with the correct path and pure energy hits it right in between the shins, right up into the mommy daddy button, <laughs> which it then reacts as you'd expect, reeling backwards and lands on its back, just kind of holding itself and uh, silently rolling back and forth as the other two bugs are running around furious, flexing madly at each other. <laughs> Is that how they communicate? Guys, these things have balls. <laughs> Thanks for confirming that, Sam. Well, I guess that means they're not Pokemon. <laughs> oh, Wait, they're buff. I mean, Let's just... see if they're rich. Breakdance. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore that six. That is a four. <laughs> she she does a dance and trips on an octillery tentacle. <laughs> Oh yes, Octillery, uh, you should you should probably get back in the Pokeball. We don't want to get in, uh, in cahoots with this lot. <laughs> Rick retracts Octillery. Hey. Oh, another one. 
more hey, and, more and more of these bugs are starting to land on the uh, on the uh, on the floor on the ground as people start panicking and running and like backing away uh, there has been no clear sign of hostility just yet however after that swift <laughs> kick months. to the after that swift kick <laughs> to the nuts um, you're pretty sure that these things are about to go nuts okay <laughs> I uh, I move over I, I go over to the lady hey you seem to know what's up has this ever happened before? Uh, she lets out a very calm and excited eee! and runs away. <laughs> Great. Nice. Feeny is going to take out her Altaria and put like as many of these not quite corpses on it as she can to get them away from the bugs. Okay, we all try. You guys tried your best with your forms of communication. I'm going to try talking to it. That cool with everyone? Commun Wait, oh yeah, you can talk to, to Pokemon. Yes. yes. Not a Pokemon. You you can actually, <laughs> by the way, you can actually pull out your own Pokemon from your journal and throw them on. on oh, the floor. cool! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh. how I did the espers. Oh, that's good. Uh, Just... Yeah, Rick's gonna walk up and use Zoopathy. Oh, what neat. does that do again? Uh, it is. Um, where is it? That's loud. Zoopathy. You can talk to Pokemon in its language for four hours. Target an adjacent Pokemon drains five HP of the uh, users per use. So gonna hopefully talk to this thing in its own language if you want to just like I if you don't want to a bunch I, yeah or i have no idea uh <laughs> but if you want to speak through me as the gm that's a hundred percent cool all right if you got information and we don't want to telephone it <laughs> no it's fine um the creature sees that you do some mystical mumbo jumbo and then looks down on you and flexes mightily and it uh it this is an angry gesture, and you relay to your party that you have kicked kicked our leader. Now it is time for us to kick you. Okay, Samson. <laughs> I don't know how to break this to you, but <laughs> are they gonna kick us with their stubby legs? <laughs> it's more of a tripod, really. <laughs> I think it's kind of a centaur thing. Okay, oh, so should I? Should I try to calm it, or should I ask it if it's some type of a centaur? Um, I think, judging by to... that, I think you should calm it. I am going. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a joke. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Feeny puts everyone that isn't the ninja girl on the Altaria. <laughs> oh, no. I can't Thanks, fit Feeny. four. <laughs> Is Altaria big? Uh, it's like mid-size. Um, it's like about a human lying down, I think. So you could fit like one person on. She's just getting them out of the ring. Basically okay. a, a man in a suit. Okay. Uh, she picks them all up uh, with the exception of the ninja girl, of course. <laughs> Whoops. You know what? I'm just going to move these guys. You know what? Let's make it easy. Boop. 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 We, we can take the ninja girl too, but she's last. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just delay a bit, like... And, like, you, you get the sense that, unlike the others, that wasn't out of malice. We just just baffled by her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, at that point, I think we should try one, at least a little bit of combat to get you guys used to the system. Because Absolutely. Uh, there is some places to go. Now, I'm adding each of you to the turn order. Can you see it? Yes. All right. Uh, we can only see the order, but not us. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Can you see Buzz? Can you see Buzzwool? I can see the Pokemon. Okay. Um, what we're going to do, just to make combat faster, because I know you guys don't like to uh, like linger a lot, uh, what we'll do is we'll do trainers first, then Pokemon. Okay. Okay. So uh, throw out whatever Pokemon you want. I, I have lost track of some people's Pokemon. Garp Snarp! Go! <laughs> um, all right. I I will put away my my whimsicott because these guys are red and that seems like a bad deal so <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna switch out flannel for da, 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 what is your name chiffon which is my melodic Ooh. where did melodic uh, go oh there she is. Uh, I, I never i never had her out okay also i didn't even know this was a thing my whimsicott's name is poplin that's fucking adorable poplin <laughs> yeah okay let me go ahead and set that up because like i said uh, i was not one, I was like 85% done with everything by the time we met up. I just got caught up with some things. So, do do do. It is so, okay. when I kicked these things, did it feel like fire? Uh, no, actually. You felt like you hit some kind of hard armor, actually. You just got really, really lucky with that and found like a weak joint. Oh, okay. 
I know just what to do. <laughs> and you're sending out Toga Kiss, right? Kicking. Yes. Okay. I like how the Ace oh, Trainer, like you're very clearly the Ace Trainer on on the thing too, and you're fighting <laughs> like a martial artist. That's great. <laughs> how do I how do I embiggen this? Uh, I don't think I don't no. think you can. Which one, lick a tongue? Yeah. There we go. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> and I got to set up. Gonna your... lick right through that armor. <laughs> <laughs> Like I, I'm, I'm banking on it being made of rock candy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lick a tongue loves. Wouldn't rocks. be the first time. <laughs> All right. Because because your lick a tongue, it, it doesn't know lick, right? So nope. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just picturing its tongue is like in a knot or like a stub with a bandage at the end of it. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Its oh, mouth no, is he closed. He just got it pierced, so it's tender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stop, no. <laughs> it is a sign of dominance in the Lickitung tribe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, my oh my god. god. That should this... is that everyone's Pokemans? We got a Honchcrow. We got a. Yep. Uh, is Altaria fighting or is Honchcrow? Um, I'll, Altaria can sit this one out. I I got Melodic. We're good. Okay, then who's who belong? Who's me? The okay. I'm Honchcrow. I'm sorry, Honchcrow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So what I need you to do then is I'm going to right click your character and I'm going to add in your Pokemans and I want you to check the character sheet under the stats and under the stats is speed. So you tell uh, you can go ahead and click on the Pokemon in the turn order and apply the speed and with that uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving you homework because I'm a teacher. What does uh <laughs> does Hasty add to that? Add to the speed? I I don't know what Hasty does. Uh, your nature? No, like... no, no. It does not add to yeah. it. That affects okay. stats only. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, and this would be under HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense. That speed stat, the one that's current yes. at the very end. The, the current one at the very end. Yes. Perfect. Is Lickitung's speed really seven? Yep. Like it's current. Okay. All right, we'll go ahead and set that up. All right, currently the fastest is Garbschnurb. <laughs> Garbschnurb! Now go ahead and switch that to the battle music. There we go. Whoa. All right, and with that, Garbschnurb goes first. All right, let me see. Uh, let me look at these moves really quick. Uh, so, would... I want to use Assurance, but only if I can count the thing I'm attacking as having been hit by the kick earlier. Because Assurance <laughs> damage is, uh, Assurance does more damage if the target's already been attacked. So, yeah, let's say he's he's been damaged a little bit, and this round he has flinched. Okay, yeah. And then I'm going to attack this one right here. Nice, while he's down. Nice. <laughs> I mean, we gotta take out their leader. Now, uh, just so I know, Assurance is a dark move? Uh, let me open that it, it up. Is. Okay, let's see. If the, if the game rules are the same as this, then yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, effectiveness does apply, just letting you know. Sweet. Uh, and then which one, how do I roll it? Like, what determines what I pick as far as, like, the three? It, if it's a physical move, you use the red button. Okay, cool. Yep. All right. Um, will it take into... I should the damage base of... Uh... Okay, so how do I... It looks like this one's a pain to use because it has a different damage base than what's usually in there. Oh, wait, I think I can just... Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, okay, so... 12 plus 10. I can actually just... Boop. There we go. Oh, you figured it out? Yeah. Oh, good boy. Woo! All right. Murkrow leaps forward and... <laughs> Pecks at it with its beak. Actually, no, no, no. It stabs it with its knife. What am I thinking? Yeah, it has a knife. <laughs> it stabs it with its... This is Pokemon. That's how that works. <laughs> um, Just in case anyone is confused. Uh, the knife sinks inwards, but that doesn't seem to bother it as much as that kick did. Interesting. Um, I'll just let you know you used a dark move on a fighting type. You should have stabbed okay. it in the nuts. <laughs> So, next... Wait, fighting type? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, I didn't say that. 
It's that... okay, Phoenica probably knows anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Actually, yeah. Um, this is actually pretty obscure lore, uh, because in the Pokemon world, not everybody knows what Ultra Beast and Ultra Space is. Yeah, like, not in character. What are these? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're like they're like pseudo legendaries from Sun and Moon. There's like okay. extra dimensional Pokemon, and they're all like bugs with big muscles and shit. So that's what these are. Gotcha. Yeah. Pretty good. So uh, one of these bugs walks up oh, no. to. Uh, do, 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 I forgot your name, Rick. Apologies. Oh no. Rest in peace, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> He flexes his arm and launches it forward with a thunder punch. How about we talk about this? Oh my god! <laughs> uh, uh, what, is, what is my AC? Or uh, okay, my the way logical it, one? The way it works is you need to... Uh, you actually need to just... Like, when you roll it, it's all based on the attacker. Oh, okay. So, if as long as he gets above a 2, uh, he hits you. Oh God! <laughs> uh, see ya. So yeah, you, no. <laughs> you take a uh, fifty-five thunder punch. Um, <laughs> cannot Rick, Rick being a water type takes <laughs> maximum damage from this. What? What? You're a water He's... type? No. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, whoa, whoa, wait a He's... minute. Oh no, no. Okay. Is there any way I could use Field Commander to have his Togekiss, which has not yet acted, intercept that? Yes. That so Rick not... isn't fucking dead. It would <laughs> instantly kill me. <laughs> All right. Uh, then I shall use Field Commander. Togekiss, uh, rather than you taking the punch, you see your life flash before your eyes, and a dramatic ah! as your Togekiss takes your punch for you. <laughs> oh no, it's been scrambled. Oh, god. <laughs> what uh, are you talking about? Toga Kiss is plenty tough. Oh god. <laughs> I, I math temporarily escapes me. What is 55 minus 17? Uh, you can just do minus 55 on uh, roll 20, and it'll just go boom! 35. Well, oh, actually, or... well uh, Toga Kiss is flying type, and not only that, he has defense. Ooh. So, uh, 40, 30, so uh, we'll just say 60. Okay. All right. That's Togekiss. merciful. Yeah, that's extremely merciful. Togekiss takes 60 damage, which is considerable for it. What is its... Oh, <laughs> hit points. Maybe that looks like a kite. <laughs> no, my dear friend! <laughs> I mean, it was pretty cool that you saved my life and also made the sound of a red-tailed hog. We've been practicing that for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, this is all too tragic! <laughs> Small victories! <laughs> <laughs> the other uh, the other Ultra Beast walks over and it attempts to hit the Lickitung with an Ice Punch. Oh no. Oh dear. <coughs> also, Finica, that's a that would have been a great name for our team. Team Small Victories. <laughs> <laughs> no, we want big it's, victories. It's both small time sad and incredibly accurate. <laughs> <laughs> and not to be this guy, but is that red, is that green highlighted 92 a critical hit? Uh, yes, that is a critical if it crits, but the AC, um, it, it only so got cool. a 12. Okay, yeah, I'm not exactly sure how crits work on this system. Yeah, you, uh, unless the move specifically says so, it's <clears throat> always a crit on 20. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And you're aware that I'm a normal type. Oh, right. Uh, he has thick fat. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's... Thank you. Thank you, Jazz. You know, Lifer for oh. pointing that out. What does thick fat do? Yeah, thank you. Uh, user is one step more resistant to fire type moves and ice type moves. Oh, well, let's get yeah. you back half of those hit points then, don't we? Yeah, he just slurps them back up. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't done with those. <laughs> I only regret being able to listen to Pokemon when that thing is on the field. <laughs> Have you met my other ones? <laughs> they all have piercings. It's Phoenix's turn. Or no, it's already acted, but it's Melodic's turn. Um, Melodic is going to use Twister on the big guy and try and twist him right back up where he came from. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, go for it. All right, let's roll. Let's open the menu very slowly. <laughs> You're reading a manual on how to... <laughs> I am a professor! <laughs> <laughs> All right.
right, it's special, so... Boop. Oh! Ooh! How did it go? <laughs> Garnstar, <laughs> Gar Garnstar launches into the air. <laughs> no, Garnstar! <laughs> Don't worry, we can lure him back with money. Does Garnstar go to ultra space? <laughs> um, that, I just, I, I don't care what else happens. That is the line of the adventure. <laughs> 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 Garbstar uh, fades from your view, and you hear a faint, and uh, the only, you call out for Garbstarb, and the only response you get is a knife falling slowly to the ground. <laughs> oh no! Don't worry, a lot safer. this has happened two times to me before. <laughs> 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 Where did Garbsnarb go? What happened? Into the thing. Uh, <laughs> she look. She looks at her professor manual. There is just a giant question mark next to a crayon drawing of that air whirlpool. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I wish this happened before my players went into ultra space, <laughs> so, so Garbsnarb could just show up in their adventure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Beanie. Beanie. <laughs> Wait, uh, let me let me know when it's my turn. All right, uh, it's Togekiss who moved. Uh, Togekiss now gets a yeah, gets an attack. Uh, just, just so you know, uh, Nera's off the turn order now because her Pokemon's gone for us. <laughs> oh, <Yes>. uh, dad. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you can you can throw out a new Pokemon. Oh right, you have the things, don't you? Yep. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> 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 Would they also like to ride the Twister? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, Togekiss goes. Okay. I'm curious how, uh, can I take trainer actions on Togekiss's turn? Is this, uh, is this like PTU where, um, we take a trainer action and Pokemon action? Or do you just get like one action here? Um, okay. So you can only command one Pokemon a turn, but you can... Uh, move as a trainer and then move your Pokemon. So yes, you can move. Okay. Hmm. And did, uh, does switching take up my turn? Uh, switching, yes. Because you are not a class that switches for free. Interesting. Okay. First things first, I'm gonna kind of scuttle on back. <laughs> I'm going to cower behind this incredibly small old man. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, he seems completely unfazed by this. <laughs> He's just standing there. <laughs> and that, now can I switch Pokemon? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, you did good, Togekiss. Good good on you, Slugger. Okay, Umbreon, get out there. Please don't get punched to death. I'm oh, so small. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and switch up the... Uh, next time, uh, don't delete them real quick because I haven't set them up to for their tokens to permanently represent them yet. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just setting up the hit points. It's just slightly... There we go, you're good. Sweet. Okay, what's and, it, uh, what's his that's speed? probably... Uh, it is... Let me grab it. <laughs> speed 14, currently. Ah, cool. Uh, we'll let him go next, then. That's fine. Cool. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, um... Oh god, on Umbreon's turn. Okay, Umbreon, try to do something defensive so you just don't die. How about using a Confuse Ray on this big bug next to you? Uh, go for it. Alright. Dello, I don't know how to break this to you, but they are super. They have super effective attacks on every single one of my Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, me too. <laughs> it's gonna be good. <laughs> All right, uh, a beam of light shoots out of Umbreon and hits this Buzzswole in the face, leaving it addled, and its normally flexy muscles just kind of shrink a little bit in its confusion. <laughs> Oh, I felt like that earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> Lick a tongue's turn. Oh boy. And uh, how do I switch Pokemon? Uh, you just tell me what you uh, just tell me what you want to do. You can just bring yeah. it. 
I'd like to switch to Polyrath. Right, something go ahead. that's. Oh, sorry. You can go ahead and throw them out. Yeah. Yeah. Is that because I'm an ace trainer? Gotcha. Or is it just gonna use my turn? <laughs> it, it, it uses your trainer turn, but your Pokemon can still go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That sure. <laughs> uh, go, Polyrath. You're so angry all the time. <laughs> Why don't you use your fists to hypnotize him? <laughs> that, that's how it I works. Mean, that sounds like a thing. I don't, you know hypnosis. I don't know how you do it. I, I think its belly just spins. No, it definitely doesn't. I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenica, Phoenica's like, well, I'm not sure that's... Oh, no, it's right there in the manual. All right, you... <laughs> what, what's its speed, just so I know? I will tell you... Twelve. Okay. I, I know when you I know when I move them, it takes them off the turn order. Yeah, sorry, I was just making sure. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I see that. I just, um... I, I put them to the GM layer, and... Oh, okay. So I can actually bring Lickitung right back out. And... Yeah, I, I, can't, I couldn't tell if they were, like, being deleted yep. or see? GM layered. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Just making sure. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you for pointing out those. I, I still make a lot of mistakes, if you can't tell. All right, there we go. All right, so uh, using hypnosis, roll. just uh, roll roll the status thing. We'll see if it goes to sleep. Status. It's the gray yin yang one. Gray. Yeah. Yep. There it is. And it works. Yay! With its fist. It's my only psychic move that can't harm it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, guys, I put him to snail. <laughs> uh, sleepy as a snail, they say. <laughs> Alright. What's a snail? <laughs> sleepy as a snail. a gander over here. <laughs> Alright. Around town, um, like two more Buzzwall have appeared, and they appear to be attacking people. However, uh, the people around town just aren't taking that, and they seem to be fighting back equally as fiercely as certain Pokemon are. <laughs> yeah, I don't Probably think more successfully are. than me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the first Buzzwall that you kicked uh, right in between the legs gets up shakes off its fatigue, and goes forward to attack the little snot that kicked it right there. <laughs> Looking for another, huh? <laughs> Before it kicks it, can I do something? Sure. It... Feeny, take take the kids. I'm gonna go in after Garb Snarb. Oh. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you know how this went last time. <laughs> I made it out, didn't I? I yeah, guess that's how so. you turned into a ghost, right? <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna use teleport and teleport up into the portal. Oh my god. Oh god, let me pull out a map. <laughs> I'm sorry oh for inflicting this on you. Bit. No, this is amazing! <laughs> uh, Ultra Space, guys, we gotta get in back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, alright. Uh, I will reappear. You know what? Let's have the altar of Giratina. That sounds good. Oh uh, god. Oh god! <laughs> All right, there's fun. All right, so I will we'll do yours one on one in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Best of luck. Thanks, uh, Feeny. Watch uh, after my kids. Before before she goes, Feeny slips the knife into her pocket. 